Now to that exclusive surprise announcement for kids of all ages, which is everyone here at this desk with me. <laughs> um, long lost Dr. Seuss books are discovered and one will be out this summer and ABC's Chris Conley has the first look. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. We've read and we've watched all those Grinches and Who's, and now it appears there's some very good news. That day all the Sneetches forgot about stars, and whether they had one or not upon Dars. We loved Yertle the Turtle and Sneetches galore, so imagine our joy that there's finally more. We are happy to share, it's the news of the day. Dr. Seuss fans rejoice, a new book's on the way. A manuscript, drawings, found after he passed, now coming to bookstores this summer at last. In the fall of 2013, I got a call from our friends out at Seuss House to say that they had found a box in a closet while cleaning up. It's his 45th book called What Pet Should I Get? And here's a sneak peek. You're excited, I bet. This is a Dr. Seuss that we're going to recognize instantly. To Seuss-loving readers, the young and the old, some 650 mil books have been sold. We love green eggs, the Lorax, the cat in the hat, one fish and two fish. Why, just take a look at the kids in this new book. Hey, how about that? The kids in this book are absolutely the same kids that we see in One Fish, Two Fish. We're all so happy we could just about cry. Prepare for what pet should I get this July. We're hoping this helps to brighten your day. Sincerely, signed Chris, GMA from L.A. Well done, Chris. <laughs> well done. And this is exciting news, but... You guys, what are your favorite Dr. Seuss books? Oh, hard to oh, choose. So many. So difficult. I don't see it here, but Green Eggs and Ham. Green Eggs and Ham. I, uh, Lorax is so great. beautiful. And also, all, all the, the places you go. go. It's such a great story. Mine is um, the Spanish edition, El Gato and Sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> see? Yeah. There you go. I will not read it to you, though. I won't do that. <laughs>